Here, I'm, I'm being naughty and I'm cheating because truly behind Paul, the pictures go off in perspective. But sometimes to make a nice picture in a rectangle, it's quite fun to make things straight. So I'm actually putting, and what will be nice, these little pictures will look quite nice in the background. I'll put a bit more information in them, like the cockerel. Um, now what would have been good, you see, would be to have had a person there too. I could draw you if you went, came around there a little bit more. I'll sketch you, look, you can come close so you can see. You should just stand there, a bit nearer. That's it, I'll try and draw you in with it, if you don't mind. <laughs> so you can be part of my little sketch. And that will be quite interesting, because then there's two. Is, she, is that okay? Yeah, okay. This is all part of the improvisation. <laughs> so I have to look at where your head is in relation to the camera. I've got that line in the way of your little chin there, so I'm going to have to integrate that with your chin, otherwise bring your hair down there. I'm not really very good at this. <laughs> You're a very good model though, really patient. Your hair looks much nicer than I've got it. I like your shirt, it's lovely. I might, these are my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. I love turquoise. So we've got hair coming down here, there. And your little. I suppose this technique is a little bit cartoony too. It has a slightly Mm. Um, doesn't it? It's, yes, it, it does, yeah. it's the linear thing, really, I suppose, that renders it a bit like. And it's harder the closer somebody is as well, actually. That makes it more. You haven't got the distance thing to, to work on it from. Um, you, you can come back around here now and have a look. You have got a line through your head there, which isn't very good. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's okay. But it was because I did the picture first. I was a bit eager with the picture of the cows. So what I'll do is I'll make the picture of the cows a bit bigger. Cheat. So I won't have an, you won't have another line going through your head. Then we'll do a few cows here. Lying down cow. It's like all the preparation you do when you're decorating a room or something, you know, all the hard work and what have you. Not that this is hugely hard work, but it is the preparation. Mm. And then when you put the watercolour on, it just all comes to life. Because you can see how that isn't very exciting in a way. It's just a pen and ink, which is nice. But, but once you've put the colour... It becomes fun. It becomes good fun, yeah. doesn't it? But you mustn't overdo the colour. That's the really difficult bit. It's not to... Not to try and say, not to try and make it into a painting. That's the thing. It is a painting, but it's a sketch. And to hold in your head that it's just a sketch. It's just an impression, just a little memory of your, of your little visit to, you know, on holiday, whatever it was. Now, see, I've made that cockerel too. Not cocky enough, really. Whee! Bit of fun, isn't it? Gone a bit wild there with the tail. Oh, and the little hen beside him. Oopsie, got the little hen. She's there. Look at that there. I must be careful not. Sometimes in some of my pictures, I end up going out of the picture, but that doesn't matter either. Because I think that is, it's like the pictures walked off the wall into real life. And the ones I did up at the National Gallery are, are like that. They're really nice because they look like the people have come out of the, oh, see this little cockerel's come out of the painting mm -hmm. to meet the people. So that's just a little notion of that picture. I have to pretend he's a bit bigger. Um, and here we've got flowers, but I can't see them for the reflections. So I don't know if I'll bother with the reflections. I mean, you just sometimes wait for something else to come along. Like when I was doing this one in the square in March Wenlock, that none of those people were all there at the same time. So I began because he was here. These two were here. They were chatting away, him on his bicycle, but only for a very short bit of time. And I forgot his other leg, if you notice. <laughs> He's only got one leg. Well, I could, you know, like Paul has only got one leg as well. So I could knock in a leg there. 
just to sort of anchor him to the ground. And then they gone. Then these two girls who were sitting over on the bench with some other, other teenagers suddenly wandered across here and sat on the stone. I thought, mm, they're in nice shape, you know what I mean? They're in nice shape in the picture in there, because luckily I hadn't drawn all the building. Had I put all the building in, I never would have been able to put those in. And then this little couple who obviously got lost and had their map, and were looking at their map. So you end up making up a little story from accidental happenings, really. But actually, the more kind of slightly not too perfect it is, the more interesting it is in a way, isn't it? If it's better for not being too... So now, just because I want to... can't wait any longer, I want to do a bit of colour. This is a pen that bleeds a bit. It's not one that fixes and won't wash. So I put a little where the ink lines aren't, and then, always checking above, I'll put some where the ink lines are because I want the ink to mix with the paint, but not everywhere because it makes it a bit black. But a little of it is fine. And you don't want to overdo it. Can you see how I've just done touch a little bit? And same when I do the little, um, whatever those feathers are called on the top. I'll let it all, you know, like bleed in a bit. And I'm starting high up the picture so I don't, um, I, I don't put my fist in it. The other little chickie is white. So if you have something that's white, all you need to do is a little bit of ink, a bit of water, because the ink makes it, you know, the ink is enough. It'll be all right. What colour of hair? Paul's hair now. Um, you look like stress frame. Anyone like? <laughs> yeah, stress frame, that's right. Yes, it's good. I like that. Um, now your hair is blonde and so I'll give you yellow hair. <laughs> I mustn't, I, I put a bit of blue because in white material you get blue shadows. So can you see how I'm making the shadows without losing all the white of his shirt and going through the, just little suggestions. So I haven't given your hair any colour, Paul. What colour would you like your hair to be, darling? <laughs> rich brown. Rich, rich brown, okay. <laughs> Which brown it is. Can back about 20 years, please? I'll take 20 years off you. That is the excellent thing about poetry. You're all right now, you can come back. Oh, it's taking them off now. I must make sure I give a clear indication of the earphones. But that's. Oh, and there was a wire hanging down. Oh, that's the one. No, that's the one. It goes up to the. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. Open studio. Uh, what's the date? Third. Yeah. Third. Third of July. So now you see how my process works. This is the finished piece from quite a short period of time of sketching. Often I'll have longer, and in that time I will manage to capture more people, as you see in the, the one of the butcher's queue. So if you've liked what you see, feel free to contact me through the website, because I should love to come and be part of any kind of celebration or festival or recording of an event.